Hi everybody, Mrs. B here back with you again. I'm very excited for today's lesson. We're gonna review a song that we did last time. We're gonna read one of my favorite books. We're gonna put some music with it. And first, we're gonna start with some rhythms. So today, instead of using different pictures to mean ta and tt and sh, we are gonna actually transition into using the real notes. So the one that you see right here, this is a quarter note and we say ta, ta. This is called eighth notes and it has two sounds, but it still happens in one beat in one time. So we say tt, tt, tt. Then this right over here, that's called a quarter rest. When we see that, sometimes I go shh, but today I want us to go, and that means we're gonna be silent. Let's do one just for practice. Take a look at it, what do you think it says? Good, it says ta, ta, ta. Let's do it again. Ta, ta, ta. Very good, boys and girls, how about this one? Ta, 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 ta. I would like to do each rhythm two times, okay? So we're, I just went back. We're going to start at the beginning again. Let me get a rockin' song going here. Okay, one, two, ready? Ta, 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 ta. Good. Turning. Ta, 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 ta. Turning. Ready? Ta, 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 ta. How you doing? Are you getting it? This one starts with a rest. Ready? Here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Turning. Ready? Here we go. Ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ooh, that was a tough one, wasn't it? Ooh, how about this one? Ta, 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 ta. Ooh. Ta, 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 ta. All right, turning, ready, and T T T T ta. T T T T ta. All right, and let's start my music again. T, 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 Ta, T, 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 Ta, turning. Ta, T, T, Ta, T, T. Good, we're almost done. T, 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 T. Turning, ready, here we go. T T ta T T ta. Good job. All right, we're already going to transition into a story time because this is one of my favorite stories. My students love when we read this book. So, and thank you to Scholastic for allowing me to be able to share this with you right now. It's called. Catalina Magdalena Hoopensteiner Wallendiner Hogan Logan Bogan was her name. I'm going to make myself tiny, and I might even make myself disappear over here a little bit. Okay? Maybe I can move over a skosh. All right. <clears throat> so this is Catalina Magdalena Hoopensteiner Wallendiner Hogan Logan Bogan was her name by Ted Arnold. This is from the day she was born. Do you notice in the nursery in the crib next to her, there is, it says Smith. You see all those little babies and hers, her name is so long, it's going off the edge. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Waldiner, and then you almost can't even see it anymore. And there's dad taking pictures and dad's going to take pictures like on a lot of these pages. We'll see him there quite a bit. Okay. She had a funny name. 
but she wasn't much to blame. Her mother gave it to her just the same, same, same. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. She had two hairs on top of her head. One was black and the other was red. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. She had two eyes that were quite a sight. One looked left and the other looked right. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. <laughs> she had two holes in the bottom of her nose. One was for her fingers <laughs> and the other for her toes. Ew! Oh, don't you try to pick your nose with your toes. Icky! Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. You see, there's Dad taking a picture again. She had two teeth inside of her mouth. One went north and the other went south. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. She had two arms that flopped all around. When she walked, they would drag on the ground. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. She had two feet that were wide and flat. Each one was bigger than a bathroom mat. Do you know how big a bathroom mat is? That's like the carpet that's on the floor when you step out of the shower. That's like, that's like huge. It's like so big. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. She had one brain inside of her head and what it thought is what she said. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. So now she's graduated and she's working at her first job at the Fishy Foods Fish Stick Factory. And you'll notice she's got fish in her boots. That's pretty gross. The boy up top says, hey, I know her. And the girl says, it's her first day on the job. Some folks say that her breath smells sweet. Me, I'd rather smell her feet. Look, she's eating an onion. Ew. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. They're getting married. If rain makes flowers sweet and clean, there ought to be a downpour on Magdalene. Oh. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan, Smith was her name. Ew. <laughs> Smith, Smith, what kind of a name is Smith, they say. And it says, just married. And look, dad's in the helicopter still taking pictures. And look, they had a baby. And the baby has three hairs on its head. Isn't that special? Do you remember how my last video was about camping at Camp Songs? This book was actually written about a camp song. And depending on what part of the country you were in, 
they might have different words or different ways they would say it. So let me grab my book and I'll show you what I mean, Jelly Bean. So depending on where you grew up, instead of calling her Catalina Magdalena Hoopensteiner Wallendiner, you might have called her Madalina Catalina Rupenstina Wanadana Hoka Poka Poka was her name. Or you might have said a Makalina Makalina Rubenstein Wakadine Hokey Pokey Loki was her name. Or Magdalena Hagdalina Uka Waka Taka Waka Oka Moka Poka was her name. Imagine saying that really fast. So I want you to see if you can sing along with me this time. We're not going to go through all the pages. I'll just put the words up here on the screen for those of you that can read. And I've got my piano. You can't even see it down here. But we can hear it, can't we? So, can you echo me? Catalina Magdalena. Catalina Magdalena. Hoopensteiner Wallendiner. Hoopensteiner Wallendiner. Hogan Logan Bogan. Hogan Logan Bogan. Good, let's try it. Catalina Magdalena. Hoopensteiner Wallendiner. Hogan Logan Bogan was her name. Look right up there. Boop. Right there. There's where it is. Do you see it? All right, here we go. She had a funny name, but she wasn't much to blame. Her mother gave it to her just the same, same, same. Catalina Magdalena Hoopensteiner Wallendiner. Hogan Logan Bogan was her name. She had two hairs on top of her head. One was black and the other was red. Catalina Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. Woo, I'm gonna run out of breath. She had two eyes that were quite a sight. One looked left and the other looked right. Catalina Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. Let's see what's next. She had two holes in the bottom of her nose. One for her fingers and the other for her toes. Catalina Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. Are you keeping up? Good luck. <laughs> she had two teeth inside of her mouth. One pointed north and the other went south. Catalina Magdalena Hoopensteiner Wallendiner. Hogan Logan Bogan was her name. She had two arms that flopped all around. When she walked, they would drag on the ground. Catalina Magdalena Hoopensteiner Wallendiner. Hogan Logan Bogan was her name. Hmm. She had two feet that were wide and flat. Each one was bigger than a bathroom mat. Catalina Magdalena Hoopensteiner Wallendiner. Hogan Logan Bogan was her name. I love a good tongue twister. Some folks say that her breath smells sweet. Me, I'd rather smell her feet. Catalina Magdalena Hoopensteiner Wallendiner. Hogan Logan Bogan was her name. If rain makes flowers sweet and clean, there ought to be a downpour on Magdalene. Catalina Magdalena Hoopensteiner Wallendiner. Hogan, Logan, Bogan, what's her name? What did you think? I like it too. All right, now I want to do Down by the Bay. Do you remember when we did that one last time? On the day that we did the camping in the tents? Let me move this down just a little. All right, let's see if I can see if I can do it. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, we should eliminate me so you can see. There we go. Yeah. Here we go. Down by the bay where 
where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, have you ever seen a goose kissing a moose down by the bank? Down, whoops, down, <laughs> come on, down by the <laughs> bay where the water mounds grow back to my home i dare not go for if i do my mother will say have you ever seen a whale with a polka dotted tail down by the bay down by the bay where the water mounds grow back to my home I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, have you ever seen a fly wearing a tie down by the bay, down by the bay, where the water mounds grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see a bear combing his hair down by the bay? Down by whoa, whoa, by the bay where the water mounds grow back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see a llama wearing pajamas down by the bay? Down by the bay where the water mounds grow back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, Have you ever had a time couldn't make a rhyme down by the bay? It's been fun making music with you guys today. I can't wait till next week where we're going to do some Easter songs. So my challenge for you is see if you can find a plastic Easter egg, put something inside of it, and have a grown-up help you to glue it shut. Because next week, I want to do some egg shaker dances, okay? I'll see you next week. Bye, guys!